idiot. Normally I'm on Marketplace and then I make a bad financial decision. This one, I wasn't even looking. They like just come to me at this point. So long story short, got a message. Guy's like, hey, I got this beat up single cab short bed for sale. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm into those. I'm like, yeah, tell me a little bit about it. He's like, well, it's pretty beat up and it's, it's pretty beat up. And then dude's like, it's got a 4.8 with a five speed manual. And I'm like, all right, I'm on my way. Actually, I sent this to a few of my buddies and said, hey, you should buy this and no one bought it. So then I was forced to go pick it up. So normally when you go and look at something for sale, you like check the mileage, check the oil. Nope. I just made sure it had good oil pressure. Didn't even look at the mileage. I still don't even know how many miles this thing has on it. I haven't even touched this thing in a month. I have said this from the beginning though. Uh, basically my goal is to just see single cab short beds as far as the eye can see. And it's getting pretty close now with the three of them here so uh yeah it's it's feeling pretty good i'm uh i'm not mad about it but let's just go ahead and dive into this thing and check it out so the guy also told me that this thing's been stolen twice from the same guy so i didn't ask too many questions after that but yeah it's been stolen twice from the same guy so as far as the body goes it's actually not too bad um, the worst spot is probably right here. A little bit of, uh, denting there. Uh, the front bumper is just annihilated. Um, got a little bit going on in this area, but again, not too bad. Oh, and it came with all this stuff that I now have to take to the dump. I did add some tires and whatnot, but like the seat, freaking, I don't even know what's in there. I don't want to know. I'm going to go to the dump, dump it off. We're good. Interior, you know, just no seats. Well, it's got one back here, but it's not for a Chevy. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to clean the interior. I think this might be rat piss or something who even knows um no cd player but you know the interior is actually all still here i think everything everything works as far as that goes five speed manual baby shoot that thing is nasty gonna have to hit up the guys at aza and maybe get a wheel good night uh yeah and now for the motor first time i've had this motor it's a four point great otherwise known as a 4.8 it actually has some type of headers on it a sweet intake um the heater core is shot so i'm gonna actually probably just loop around these two hoses and then the guy cut the battery terminals off, replaced them with these. I don't even know. Whatever. Um, but yeah, it is actually lowered on a full, you know, C-notch uh, flip kit in the rear. Uh, good shocks all the way around. So um, the bones of it are pretty good. I'm actually kind of excited about this. It's going to be a quick build. Um, I guess... What are my plans? My plans with the truck. Daily driver. We're just gonna make this thing just cherry. Really hoping to make this thing just flawless, you know? Like all my other stuff, really nice and clean, no problems with them. You know, just take a good look right now. What it looks like, flat tire, it, it's a slow leak. So, you know, I can fill it up, drive around for a couple days. Um, yeah, take a good look. Bumper, front end. She's looking a little rough. Actually, I am really wanting to throw some nitrous at it. I've never felt a nitrous hit in anything. 
So I think it'd be pretty sweet to throw like a hundred shot, 150 shot on this thing and just go have some fun. Um, it's already got exhaust intake, um, obviously the five speed manual, you know, weld the diff, do the things that I do normally. Um, but yeah, hundred shot, 150 shot of nitrous would be a lot of fun. And it's, I, I feel like it's the perfect build for it. Um, potentially down the road, maybe a supercharger, but I don't want to get too carried away. Uh, this is just going to be like a fun, again, fun, cheap build. Kind of like the G, um, but even cheaper. Enough with the jibber jabber. Let's start this thing up and uh, maybe take it for a rip. Dang it, it doesn't have a seat. Uh, I'll go grab a seat from another rig. All right, got a seat in there. actually drive this thing now Let's see if it starts Come on. just a okay maybe I should have checked the mileage you know there was no mileage on here so I started it up like when I got it off the trailer and it didn't run like this I put like five or seven gallons of gas in here and it's running good now so I don't know man I don't know I just realized it's four eight day in like four days so i was like you know what let's make this video maybe do a gnarly one tire fire um because it's open in the back and i've been talking to the lady about like one tire fire one wheeler peeler you know trying to get some new names and she came up with half sand rear end that's definitely what this is i'll show you what that is right here in a sec but uh yeah half sand rear end we don't like those, but right now, oh yeah, let's do it. So when you buy a new vehicle, you want to always check to make sure that the lug nuts are actually tight. This one's got three tight ones, so we'll just buzz around, check them all. Don't want a tire falling off. Yeah, that's rubbing pretty good right there. <sighs> I know just the trick. Betsy. Even the cigarette lighter works. Shoo, buddy. This old girl's gonna be a ripper. This is actually my first drive pretty much uh, down the road. Got a, a washer or a dryer, a couple tires, the rug, the whole thing. So let's go to the dump. Dude, 
this thing rips. Uh, the transmission grinds like no other in a second. Pretty far for the course. I actually have a spare sitting at home, so um, might do that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, dude, thing feels good. Motor runs strong. Haven't really been beating on it, but just driving normal. It's got good power. Dude, I'm freaking stoked. First drive is going pretty good. I mean, I can't really see out the windshield. It's kind of pluming some cool in here. But other than that, it's suckers men. <laughs> so I put like five to seven gallons in. And uh, it's already got low fuel, so it was like, it was out of gas. Started smelling some like burnt rubber or something. Look behind me, there's a plume of smoke from so much, so much stuff in the back. Oh man, the dump. V, this thing is sick. The guy is gone. Dude, that thing is sick. Take a good look at this thing. Long story short, I did a burnout, gave her the old limiter, and it now shows the miles. 185, not too bad. But I now have low fuel. And I just filled up. The crap is going on. Does it have a hole in the tank? Just kidding. We have fuel. I don't know, this thing's twigging out. Also, I probably should have videoed uh, the neighbor that seen the burnout. Took a sweet video, and he said he's gonna send it to the cops. So, uh, one tire fire getting sent to the police. Um, come on, guys. I yelled, I'm just having fun. And he didn't like that, but. All in all, the first drive went pretty good. It's not leaking any fluids, making any crazy noises. It's got some good power. Um, yeah, this thing's, uh, it's gonna be fun. Plans for the truck, um, I'm probably going to just throw some wheels on it. I actually have a set that I can throw on it. And I'm gonna probably put, uh, factory fender flares on them, paint matched. Uh, paint matched the front end, new bumper. I'd love to do an HD hood, but I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to find one. But, uh, yeah, it'll be looking fresh. It'll look a lot like uh, Quicksilver. It'll be like Quicksilver's little brother. Uh, same color and all. Um, but yeah, I think this is just going to be like a really budget, fun, NA, go out and beat on it and have some fun uh, truck. After driving it a while, uh, I was able to run the heater. Uh, the heater core might leak just a little bit. Um, not sure. So I'm just going to kind of see how that goes i might have to put a new heater core in it or delete it for now um it's you know it's gonna be summertime so we don't really need heat but yeah um got all the crap out of the bed the bed's literally rusting from all the sh crap look at that like it's just surface rust but like if that sits there for another like five years It'll be rusted through, so yeah. Kind of glad I got this thing because you know it needs some love, but I'm willing to uh, give it some love. So see if it's leaking any fluids down here. Bone dry. 
Yeah, it's bone dry and I've been beating on it quite a bit, so. Hasn't been overheating, good oil pressure. She's a runner. With these tires being so big on here, they're 285, 75, 17, which is huge. When I get some small wheels and tires on there, this thing's gonna be slammed. So, kind of excited for that. It's actually a pretty good runner and uh, I think it'll clean up good. So, uh, stay tuned for this build. If you like watching my videos, please help me out, subscribe, and also go hit the website, lifeonlimiter.com. Go get yourself some merch. Helps me be able to do videos like this. So go hit it up, subscribe to the channel, and we will catch you on the next one.